From food to furniture, there ain't much the walnut tree can't do. But did you know that the walnut is not actually a nut? You'll learn what that's all about, the history of walnuts, and so much more in this episode of What Am I Even Eating? Walnuts are the oldest tree food known to man, with fossils dating back 40 million years ago. They're a culinary nut, but botanically speaking, they're a seed. Nuts are fruits where the seed's hard outer shell doesn't crack open naturally. Botanical nuts include hazelnuts, chestnuts, and acorns. With walnuts, they first shed their green fibrous outer hull, the exocorp. The nut falls to the ground, and as the seed germinates, it eventually grows into a tree and sheds its hard outer shell, the endocorp, disqualifying them as nuts. Native to Central Asia, walnuts were first cultivated around 7,000 years ago during the Neolithic period. This is the time when humans went from being hunters and gatherers to farmers, basically prehistoric farm bill. But it wasn't until ancient Greece that growing walnuts was really a thing. The Greeks were already farming native walnuts, when legend has it that Alexander the Great brought a new variety back from Persia, what is now modern-day Iran. This walnut was both superior in size and flavor. The Greeks crossbred this new walnut with their own into what they called the Persian nut. The Persian walnut is the most popular variety worldwide, so thank the Greeks next time you're enjoying delicious walnuts. You can also thank the ancient Greeks for the alarm clock, your iPhone, bathtubs, having to go to geometry class, cheesecake, democracy, but hey, also communism. Wait, is that different? Google Maps, the Olympics, my favorite Olympian, Greg Luganis. Aw, shucks. And hey, the pap smear and also vending machines. And let's not forget my favorite Greek god, George Michael. After conquering Greece and some good old fashioned cultural appropriation, Rome began farming and trading Persian walnuts across Southern Europe and Northern Africa. Walnut residue has even been found at the ruins of Pompeii. And <laughs> did you see that movie? Worst movie, I was literally rooting for the volcano. Romans found walnuts to have a royal vibe, but also looked like testicles. So they of course named them after some dude's junk, but it was the English seamen Seamen <laughs> that helped spread this seed around the world. Sorry, I had to say it. In shell walnuts keep for months, so they were well suited for lengthy old world trade routes. That's why the Persian and English walnut variety are one and the same. And despite making walnuts a global commodity, the English actually never farmed their own walnuts, which is very on brand. The name walnut evolved from the old English word walnutu, which means foreign nut. Humans have likely been eating walnuts ever since we left Africa thousands of years ago, with all respect to Toto. Heck, there's even evidence that walnuts were growing in the famous Hanging Gardens of Babylon. No surprise, they're delicious, nutrient-dense, and packed with calorie-rich fats and oils, like omega-3 fatty acids, which humans can only get by eating stuff, making walnuts a great addition to baked goods, yogurts, and stir-fries. They're also rich in plant-based protein and antioxidants, and high in important vitamins and minerals, such as potassium, iron, and calcium. No wonder the world grows over 3 million tons of walnuts every year, mostly in China, but the US, Iran, and Turkey are also large producers. And 99% of all US grown walnuts come from, can you guess? California. Walnuts dominate a family of trees called the Juglandaceae's, containing nearly two dozen different walnut species spread across the Americas, Europe, and Asia. The family also includes hickory and pecans. And while many species of walnuts are edible, even California's very own native variety, the Persian walnut is the main commercial crop of choice. Persian walnuts were first grown in California during the 1700s when Franciscan friars attempting to colonize the Pacific coast brought them over from Europe, along with cultural genocide, smallpox, slavery, Catholicism, and syphilis. By 1843, commercial walnut orchards began popping up around what is now present day San Diego. Fun fact, San Diego in German means a whale's vagina. Also, that's not true and you need to watch Anchorman. If you grew up in Cali like I did, you probably had to build one of these missions in school. Mine was San Juan Capistrano. What was yours? By the late 1800s, walnut orchards had grown to 15,000 acres across the state's southern region. However, California's second gold rush forced walnut cultivation up to the Central Valley, when a farming boom for oranges, lemons, and grapefruit helped make California the nation's leading producer of fresh citrus. By 1940, the state's walnut groves were in the range of 130,000 acres. Today, it's over 225,000 acres. Beyond food, 
The wood from walnut trees is harvested for furniture, just never the culinary varieties. The hulls have been used to make dyes and inks with artists such as da Vinci and Rembrandt using them in their paintings, and almost nothing is wasted. Hulls and prunings are composted and reincorporated into the soil, reducing the need for fertilizer. Even walnut shells are ground up for industrial applications like sandblasting or my skincare routine. Typically, Persian walnut varieties are grafted onto native pest resistant rootstock to ensure proper production because it can take up to seven years for a walnut tree to produce commercial grade walnuts. And y'all don't wanna f that up. They're trained into what's called a central leader shape consisting of a main trunk and four to six lateral branches. Pruning happens in January. Walnut blossoms begin to flower during springtime and because they're self fertile, no pollinators are required. Fruit grows over the summer and by fall, they are ready to harvest. This is when the green hull begins to split and the nuts fall to the ground. By November, all of the leaves are gone and won't return until after frost is over, sometime in April. During this time, the trees are dormant, relying on carbohydrate stores to survive until spring, much like me. Walnut orchards produce nuts for about 35 years, but can remain productive up to 100 years. Trees are mechanically shaken, causing the nuts to fall. A specialized sweeper then comes in, gathers them into rows, when a harvester then transfers the nuts into a trailer. The outer holes are removed with a huller and the nuts are then dehydrated where they are then stored until needed for cracking. They are then graded as in-shell or shelled walnuts. In-shell walnuts are sized as jumbo, large, medium, or baby according to USDA regulations. Shelled walnuts are mechanically cracked the seed is separated using compressed air, and they are then sized, sorted, and hand sorted and packaged. And now you know how walnuts got from Persia to California to you. Be sure to keep walnuts in an airtight container in the fridge if you plan to use them in a few months. They can last up to a year this way. Need them longer? Place them in the freezer where they can keep up to two years. If they smell like paint thinner, they're rancid and they need to be disposed of. Thanks for tuning in and let me know what food you wanna know about next.